Hey everybody, welcome to Saving Green's Homestead. My name is Keisha, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I welcome you. I am in the high desert of Southern California where it is important to have a good watering source for my garden. And you guys, so far I've tried so many different things. I've tried micro sprinklers. I've watered by hand with my water hose. I've used this soaker tubing, quarter inch soaker tubing. I've used quarter inch drip tubing. I've tried soaker hose even in my beds. And I just can't seem to find, to find the right combination or right one particular method to use that um, will bring me success for water in my garden. So what I'm gonna do today is, after doing some research and seeing how, what other people are using, I came to the conclusion that maybe, just maybe, this might be the solution for me, drip tape. So you guys, I am gonna walk you through what I'm gonna do and how I'm going to use this drip tape that I bought to hopefully improve my irrigation in my garden. So I already started ripping out the old tubing that I was using. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish taking this out. And then I'm going to start digging my trenches so I'll be able to bury the tubing this time. And I don't know how in-depth I'm going to get in showing you how um, I do this. I will try as I go along to give you an idea of what I'm doing. But you guys, I did some research and it seems like the drip tape might work best for what I'm trying to do out here. I just got tired of, with some of these other methods that I was using, my pathways in between my my spaces in between my beds would flood and get so flooded and my water bill right now is sky high because of all the leaks and extra runoff and um, if you don't have beds that are exactly level at all times and well the dirt that's level not the beds necessarily but the dirt that's level, then you can have water, like in this, escape. At a lower places, it will puddle more, and in higher places, it wouldn't get water. It's a lot of uneven watering. So that was one of the main issues that I have that I've been fighting since trying to use a drip system. Now, I did use those little micro sprinklers when I first started my garden, and everything worked great. It's just, weeds would grow everywhere because everywhere the water sprinkled would bring about the weeds so i didn't want that i wanted to cut back on the weeds so it's been what five years over the course of five years that i'm trying to dial in a really good watering system so that i can save some money and not use excessive water to water my garden so anyways, you guys, I thought I'd bring you along in the process and show you what I'm doing. Hopefully, um, it'll answer some questions or concerns that you might have for your garden. It's a little windy out here, so I don't know how much of this um, is going to be affected by the wind, but I will try my best. Okay, let me get started. My hubby and I have been out here working on this trench for the to put the tubing in for the irrigation and so this is what we got so far for my area it only needs to be four to six inches deep because our ground doesn't freeze we have freezing temperatures um, but our ground doesn't freeze so I got that pretty much done and I'm gonna go and grab the tubing so I can get the tubing laid out here um, where it's going to go and then I'm going to get all the connectors and all that stuff and bring that stuff out here and show you what I got. Okay so we now have the tubing put in. So
so I'm just gonna have to go through now and we've already checked to make sure there's no leaks and so far there's no leaks everything is good um, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, run the tubing to the sides and up the sides of each bed so then I can get everything connected using these connectors this is a whole ba big bag full of connectors um, for this drip system and then this is the drip tape right here so I'll get all the side parts um, connectors and tubing raised up to where I want it on the sides of the beds then we'll move on to the drip tape Okay, so now that I measured out my lengths of my drip tape, then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm going to put this all together. So first, I'm gonna cut right here where my first tape is gonna go. So I'm just gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna use a T here so that the water can still flow to the, all the rest, but also out through the tape. And so all I'm gonna do is with this, you just, this um, oh cap, I guess I'll call it. Uh, you open it all the way, fully back. So you can slide the tubing on right here and then you close it over the tubing so it locks it in place. So that's all I'm gonna do with this. Okay, so give it a nice tug and it doesn't budge so that's good now I'm gonna take the end of my tape here and make sure there's no emitter on there make sure that the emitters are facing up so as you can see here these are the emitters right here and that's how you know they're facing up because you can see it but also because there's a stripe going down to let you know that that is the right way. So I'm gonna bring this cap back, put this on, make sure that it's facing the right direction, and tighten this over like so. And in that way, my tape now is in place and it can um, it'll go down to um, it can then water this section. So then with this tubing that I have here, make sure this is pulled back. Add some more tubing on this part. Make sure that this is screwed tight over it. Give it a little tug and it is. And I'm ready to place my next tape. Okay, so now with this one, I just have to make sure that this cap is brought back. And once again, it's another T so that water can continue flow this way. And out that way with the tape. So I got my tape here. 
then I'll put that on. I'll slide it all the way on. Make sure the stripes and the drippers are pointed up. And then tighten this down on it. Make sure it's tight by tugging. And that's good. I am going to put this tube. Let me make sure this is all the way back. Put the tube on. Let's slide it in. Tighten this over the top to seal it. Cool. Doesn't budge, so it's on. And then I'm gonna cut it where the next tape is gonna go. eyeballed it all <laughs> and so let's see once it's finished but now I'm using the elbow so I'll connect it here tighten it on give a tug and it's good and now I am going to put my tape on here <laughs> on this end but since this is an elbow that means that that will be the end of the cycle that the water goes through so I'm gonna tighten that on give a tug and that's good Now, I'm looking at it and I'm noticing, okay, I have too much. I should have trimmed this one down like I had thought I was, like I was going to do at first. But I didn't. I changed my mind. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to correct this. Okay, so first, I'm going to unscrew this to release the tube here. You see, the tube just slips right off. And then I'm going to cut this a little shorter. And then I'm just gonna put my tubing back in here. Make sure it's all the way back. Slide it on. Tighten it down. Give a tug, make sure it's on tight. And there. Okay, so I have those in. So now I'm just gonna attach the end stoppers down here. I have some of the stoppers to seal off the ends of these um, drip lines. And I'm just gonna install that. Okay, so I left enough length on here that if there was a dripper in the way, I can cut that off. So I'm gonna cut that part off. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the end piece here, little side, wide side. So I'm gonna take the little side and put the end of the tape through like so. And then I am gonna fold. Let's see. fold this twice like so and then pull it through the wide side here and that seals off the ends and so this I will then put into place and I'll do that on all the other all the ends of the drip tape as I'm going through and putting this the rest of the system together so there you have it now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to in this bed now sometimes people 
use staple um, garden staples and stuff and I was I meant to go buy some but I didn't get a chance to go and get them so I'm gonna do this without using those but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna remedy that situation okay so there we have it and as you can see I kind of use a little dirt to kind of hold them in place since I don't have those staples but I'm gonna have to go to the store anyways. I was trying to avoid having to do that so I can just work. I'm gonna have to go to the store anyways because I need some more, it's called hanger tape. And it's what I use to hold these clamps, um, hold these tubings onto the side here. I need some more of that so I can use that to hold these in place now. Don't tell my husband, but I found one of his little seat clamps. And you can use those too. But uh, I use that just right now to hold that in place. But as you can see, that is done. Um, and this drip tape is every six inches. There's a emitter every six inches on these. So yeah, just the three is needed. I'm gonna do a test run and see make sure that the water is coming out fine on this and then i am going to cover it with that potting soil that i had here it's just some old potting soil um i have it so i'm just going to use it on top of this bed and then i'll be finished with this one and then i can move on to the rest this is basically how the irrigation is put together and what the reason why I chose this was because it just seems like it made more sense to me and that it looked like it's gonna be a little bit better for what I need so we'll see what happens okay I just turned the water on so I can see how this is gonna work and if it works and it does you can see the water coming out so that's good. That works. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this covered over and finished. Okay, so I got all these other beds done. This bed is done. See it? It's just buried. My husband buried it for me. And then of course that one over there. As you can see, I have all these, all the fixtures, everything is doing good. So let me explain this. This is a shut off valve. So right now it's closed, but once I open it, you can hear the water start to come out for this bed. Now I have a shut off valve on each of these beds so that if ever um, I have to do some work on the beds or if ever um, I don't have something growing in them, I can turn them off and everything else can still get water and just not those beds individually. So there's one on this one too, let me open it. I wanted to make sure these are covered. You can, you can leave them uncovered if you want. But I wanted to make sure that the tapes are all covered because um, I'm with the uh, weed fabric, I need to be able to burn holes in order for me to plant in these beds. And I didn't want to take the chance of my uh, irrigation getting messed up whenever I did that. So let me turn this one on. We still have a minor leak issue down here on this one, but we're, I'm gonna get that fixed. But everything else is good. There's no other leaks. Let me turn this one on. There are no other leaks. So what's really cool about this though, my shadow all in the way, my hair looks all crazy cause it's windy. <laughs> but what's cool about this is when the water fills these tubes, the tubes um, inflate. And so you can leave them sitting on top of the ground like how this is, or you can bury them. 
I'm just going to bury them um, because of the reasons that I said I want to plant stuff on in the I want to cover these all these beds with the uh, weed fabric and then um, plant in them so they would need to be the tubings would need to be covered so anyways you guys also I wanted to mention really quick to you so these other methods of watering that I use like this soaker hose right here and there's um, dripped the brown drip tubing and then the black uh, soaker soaker tubing they're in them in and of themselves they're not bad to use um, just for the purposes that I needed I needed to use something that was a little bit more efficient um, when watering because with the soaker hose that I had here in these beds this last season my pathways right here kept getting flooded and I mean like nasty flooded muddy and just I, I couldn't walk through here um, so hopefully this will alleviate that issue altogether and uh, make it where I can save money on my water bill because my water bill has been over 300 a month, which is pretty high. And so I'm trying to make sure that that works out really good so that my bill can be less. So in future videos, I will be talking about whether I like this system or not, if it's working for me or not. And then also I'm going to be using that brown drip tubing and all of my containers along here to get them tied into the system as well. So you'll see me do that um, or talk more about that later, uh, especially when I go to plant in these beds. And so everything that I got here, all these connectors and everything that I use, even the uh, It is so cute because even with their in their packaging, they sent me some suckers. <laughs> but everything came all packaged and well packaged and uh, and ready to use. So I didn't mention that before that I got this from Drip Depot. I will have links to them in the description box and any um, other affiliates or. But so far, this system was pretty easy to install, and I have plenty of tape and connectors left for the rest of my beds, because I'm trying to get this whole, all of my long beds converted to this system. So that is going to be it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, God bless.